My name is Isaac Turin. Um, I'm from the Department of Local Government. Um, I see on the agenda it's the Department of Water and Sanitation. Uh, in this province we don't have a Department of Water and Sanitation. So uh, we are, I, I'm standing in uh, to give a presentation on water and sanitation. Ladies Town is currently suffering a water shortage and there is a need for a additional water storage dam. And also the uh, main dam, the Lagrancy dam, uh, can only store 70% to, to, due to a crack in the dam wall. Uh, planning is in the process. At the moment we've sent an engineer who's spending a month or two in Kanaland to help them with the problems. Today we are basically in, uh, in Ladysmith as part of the uh, Kanaland municipality. This is our second day of the pre-visit. So where's the crack now that we're told about? No, there's no, no crack, it's okay. seepage. You, oh. can, you can't see. Uh, in this uh, wall, there's a clay core. When they built the next one, they didn't extend the clay core. Mm. So what happened, the water is seepage through this wall. Mm. And it'll make it muddy and slossy on the downside of the wall. Then you start getting slipped. The, 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 uh, the wall starts slipping down. Yes. And that can break, and then we, might, uh, we will have problems property damages, life loss, etc, etc. And even the R62 will be flattened. Oh, okay. So that's that's why we drop it. And now when we drop the water, the seepage uh, uh, drop down to the reason class so we can all the dam will stable all the time. Because I see there's a squatter camp next to the dam. How do you control access to the dam? Because the kids, they can just come in and swim. Well, um, uh, we lock the gate. People don't fill around in a, a dam area. You've never had any incident where somebody was drowned in? No, the whole dam is a fence. Mm. Okay. With heavy rains, how do you control overflow? <coughs> overflow during heavy rains, how do you control it? If it's rain uh, in the catchment area, uh, the flood's coming down to the river, and then we've got a catch, uh, catchment structure, and we, the water is dropping that catchment and coming through the channel to, to the river. Basically what we have learned about this dam today uh, is that uh, this dam is actually just dependent on the rain which the municipality uses to clean the water and supply it to the community which is a good thing to us. Uh, but the bad side is that there is no proper fencing around it. Each one from the community can just access the dam. Like for an example young people or elderly people in the community, they can just move in here and come and sweep. Any boat you can just come in and throw in poison into the water and then most of the community will be poisoned. The water that is at this dam at the moment will only last up until uh, approximately end of March. The municipality will have to rely on the boreholes, the nine boreholes which they have. And the more pressure that they put onto those boreholes, uh, the possibilities that the boreholes might also run out of water. So today we are on the 6th of March already. So it basically tells you this is an urgent need which we have to submit the report as quick as possible uh, so that the department must quickly look at it.